Hi everybody, Kaiwaza with you. Welcome back to my channel and our journey through my Hawaiian record collection. Today we start on a new letter, the letter R. Okay, so these are my Hawaiian records that uh, the, the artist would be filed under the letter R. Uh, first up, rather an older record, uh, I think, is this Canadian? Yeah, Canadian release called Hawaiian Rendezvous with Billy Reed's Hawaiian Serenaders. <laughs> This is kind of an older one on like a, a somewhat flimsy uh, paper sleeve, Rodeo Records. Now, uh, you may be interested, <laughs> I have to share this with you because I just think this is so funny, with some of the uh, other Rodeo Records that are available. If Hawaiian Rendezvous isn't your cup of tea, uh, perhaps you would prefer Diane Oxner singing traditional folk songs of Nova Scotia. Not just any folk songs, but from the Helen Crichton collection. You know Helen Crichton. Um, including such favorites uh, as The Disguised Sailor. Oh, or The Sauerkraut Song, another favorite. Uh, maybe you would prefer Omar Blondale featuring a selection of folk songs of Newfoundland. Featuring such favorites as Let Me Fish Off Cape St. Mary's, or uh, perhaps you would prefer Jack Was Every Inch a Sailor. <laughs> or if you're feeling more reverend, uh, perhaps this album is better for you. Favorite Hymns of Newfoundland with the Lid Stone Sisters, featuring A Tramp on the Street. <laughs> Or the Royal Telephone. Just like calling Jesus. Anyway, uh, I kind of want to hear those records, right? Billy Reed. Nice record. Some of it instrumental and some of it uh, vocal. <laughs> Next up, uh, Arthur Godfrey presents, I'm not sure how to pronounce this, uh, Dennis Reger or Reger or Reger. I, I do not know. I've never heard it pronounced. Toys in the Attic. Now, when I got this, uh, The Wizard of the Ukulele. Now, when I got this album, I didn't know who Dennis Reger was, and I just thought, oh, you know, ukulele, let's check it out, Arthur Godfrey. Uh, and when I was listening to it, I thought, you know... I recognize this playing. Like, this sounds so much like uh, the ukulele playing that's on. I don't know if you have any of them, but like the Surfman, Ted Aletta's Hawaiian album. Uh, these albums that were recorded by studio musicians who were not recording under their real names in, in New York specifically. Um, as it turns out, most of those people were actually musicians performing like at the uh, Hotel Lexington in New York and other Hawaiian venues in New York. Uh, and I was only able to find one picture of Dennis Regor, and uh, he's a, like a Hawaiian guy. I didn't realize that either. Um, and it is him, because I've ended up finding... He is credit. Some, sometimes he's not credited, and sometimes he is credited, but I've re I recognized he has a very elegant style, and it goes so well with the Sam Makia steel guitar that's on a lot of the studio recordings. They go so well together. Um, so I was really excited to find this album. And it's the only album by him I've ever seen. N no other solo work that I'm aware of. <laughs> songs, as you can see, all just pop songs, contempo records, but very, very lovely playing. I really like this uh, ukulele playing. It's a distinctive sound. Now, here's a Hawaiian artist from Hawaii, recording in Hawaii, uh, from 1977, I think this record is. Uh, this is, yeah, Joe Recca, A Child of 
this land. Really beautiful voice this uh, gentleman had. He has passed away, I know. Um, sang some with uh, the later Hawaii Calls and with various uh, shows in Waikiki. Nice album. I think it's the only full album uh, by him, although he may be performing on other in other ensembles. In this enchanted place I did actually work with him uh, briefly, I have to say, for a while when I was uh, working at KCCM Radio AM at the time. Uh, he was also on, I think on the weekends, um, part-time as a, a DJ as well at that time. That was some time ago, like in the 80s, early 80s. Um, now here's a record that uh, I don't know if this was ever released in the United States. I don't think so because I was really surprised to see it and I'd never heard of it. We all, maybe you are familiar with Boots Randolph who was very well known for yakety sax, right? And that whole sound of his with the saxophone. Well, he did a Hawaiian album. I mean, who knew? I've never seen it. Never knew about it. But it's this is a Japanese release. Um, Yakety Sax in Hawaii, Boots Randolph. It's a gatefold, so check this out. <laughs> and it has the typical songs that you would have on a Hawaiian Japanese record. Like it has the standard Hapa Holly ones, but it has all the ones that the Japanese records always have that the American one don't. On a Tropic Night, On a Little Bamboo Bridge, um, The Hill Sayo. They always have those songs, and the American ones don't. It's on Monument Records of Japan, but I don't know, like Monument Records in the United States, it seems like they would have released this, but I've never seen it. I didn't check Discogs to see whether it was ever an American release or not. Maybe I should, but anyway, Yakety Sax in Hawaii. It's a fun record, fun record. Okay, now we're going to start on... Uh, an artist I really, really love, like, really love this artist. I'm not going to get through everything of his today. I don't have a ton, but I'm, gonna, I'm not going to get through everything. Uh, and that is a steel guitarist by the name of Herb Remington, also called Herbie Remington. Um, I don't even know where he's originally from. I don't remember. It's a, a, a white guy from the mainland who really was known for playing, I guess, what they call Western swing steel guitar. But, oh, damn, like, I love his playing. I love his steel guitar playing. And he did a couple of Hawaiian albums that are just, like, totally killer. Uh, and I love some of his non-Hawaiian stuff. It just, I love it. Uh, but the record that we'll start with is my first exposure to him. This is a reissue of an album called Aloha Hawaii, but this is, a, this is the original cover. I don't have the original but uh, this is Steel Guitar Vintage Classics reissue by the whoever. <coughs> um, steel Guitar Vintage Classics Pedal Steel Guitar Products. I don't know, but they reissued a bunch of stuff. And this was Volume 12, Herbie Remington, Aloha, Hawaii. I first was introduced to this uh, through a co-worker of mine when I used to work at Candy Eye Radio way back in the day. I'm going to say this because... He probably doesn't watch my videos, and if he does, well, he'll know. Now, uh, that he, a true story, like, he knew I loved steel guitar, Hawaiian music. He collected records. He worked at record stores, too. And uh, he said, oh, you have, have you heard Her Herbie Remington? I'm like, no, I don't. And he said, you got to listen to this record. He's like, I'm going to, you know, let you borrow it. You got to give it back to me, but I'll let you borrow it. Uh, and I played this record. It has 12 songs. Ten of which are original, so I love that, and it's all Hawaiian stuff. So, uh, you know, I took it home and I listened to it, and I, I mean, true story, I was like, he is not getting this record back. I mean, this was like early 80s, so this is before you could really like me burn CDs and upload stuff and all that kind of crap. It's like you had the record or you had nothing. Uh, and 
I played this thing and I thought, he is not getting this record back. <laughs> so, and he never got this record, but he never asked for it back. And I kind of have a feeling maybe he knew what was going to happen, but he figured he would just, I should have it or something. Uh, but yeah, I actually just took it and never gave it back. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't give it to anybody. If, uh, at some point I'm sure I'll do like a top, you know, top 10 records or top 10 steel guitar records or top 10 whatever, whatever. I'm pretty sure this record's going to be in a top 10 list of mine, of favorite whatever, steel guitar, Hawaiian, something, whatever. I love, pretty much love every single song on this record. Yeah. Amazing record. Then I have another one from him that I like. Not as nearly as much as that one, but I like it. Uh, Steel Guitar Holiday. The production on this is great, too. That's what I love. Like, the steel guitar is kind of echoey, and he does some cool effects, and it's it's kind of on the verge of exotica. I mean, there are a couple songs that are quite exotic as well. Uh, Steve Herbie Remington, Steel Guitar Holiday. This is a Canadian release. This was also released in the States, but uh, I have the Canadian one. Point Stereo. Um, you know, just some nice songs advertising their other stuff, which is all country. This one is, is Hawaiian songs and some not necessarily Hawaiian songs, but they're kind of in that style. You know? The song that I, I really love on here, and I mean I love this song, is called Beyond Blue, which you'll be hearing as we speak. Um, it's just kind of a blues thing, but oh, it's, I just so like it. I so love it. Yeah, uh, Herb Remington just rocked my world, okay? And I have a few more things by him to show, but we're going to stop there. Uh, for time constraints. So I should tell you uh, here, as I record this, this is a Sunday afternoon. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers and mothers of all kinds out there. Um, it's Sunday afternoon and I am leaving for a trip uh, on Tuesday. So I'll upload this tonight, and which probably means that this is the last video that we will have on this channel Hawaiian, showing Hawaiian records for more than a week because I don't get back until I think it's Wednesday night of next week and I won't you know record anything immediately so there probably won't be anything until like Friday or Saturday so it's going to be probably almost not quite two weeks but uh, something like that before there's another video up so don't worry uh, because I know something very dramatic might be happening with the volcano. It's getting, the, the lava lake is getting low in the volcano. And when it hits sea level, there's going to be this gigantic steam explosion with rocks hurling out. It's going to be very dramatic and very huge. Um, outside of the gas, it's not, the sulfuric gas is not going to be particularly dangerous to the people there because it's only happening like within a mile of this the crater uh, when it happens but it will be extremely dramatic and you're going to think the world is ending and whatever um and on this island it, i don't live on the island that that's happening on i live on oahu and it's not happening here but uh you know we probably get fog and stuff like that but uh, nothing dangerous would happen here uh but I probably won't be here for that anyway because it's probably will happen as soon as I'm leaving. So I'm going to Shreveport, Louisiana from Miss USA and Miss Teen USA. I work with Miss Hawaii USA. So I'll be back, you know, until later next week and then I'll put something up. So nothing's happened to me. I'm cool. I'm fine. I'm just not here. Okay, so maybe I'll do a blog or something there. I don't know. I'm going to be really busy, but we'll see. Anyway, we'll talk to you later and have a good week and we'll see you next time.